Okay, viewers. Just quickly going to do this before I do anything with these um, new plants that I got from yesterday when we went to Burnham's with when I went to Burnham's with Roger because it was um, oh, it's a place I love to go and ferret around and I didn't expect to find what I did but there you have it. Uh, we had a lovely day. It was so nice just to go somewhere. It was even nice just to drive in a different part of the country to what you're used to, going down to the Devon coast, not coast, but down to the Devon countryside, which is brilliant. And, and we, I love it. I really love Devon. And um, I drove my car to meet Roger. He lives about an hour from me and I met him in Ringwood or somewhere on the outskirts of Ringwood. Um, 45 minutes it took me, but uh, I pulled up and got out of the car just as he pulled up. So that wasn't um, a great hardship. And then we took our time and as he said, stopped for breakfast, had a fabulous breakfast. And um, we got there just before 12 o'clock, but um, met the people he needed to meet to give the plants over. So all was well. And then we could go and start foraging, um, which is what we did, foraging for plants. Oh, I found two new and I wasn't expecting, I've never seen them down there before when I've been to Burnham's because there's always a lot of stuff that is not on the internet to buy online. Um, and you've got to ferret around everywhere to find it. And these two um, hybrids I haven't got and I've not heard of before. And one of them, for some bizarre reason, I've lost the um, tag. But it's called, along with a free fern, it's either growing embers or gr glowing ember. I think it's glowing ember. And it'll be, I think it's a Hartmannii cross, it's either a Hartmannii or a Fitzgeraldii cross. So, uh, nice big fan there. And we have already got down in there, one, two, three. And if you look carefully right down in front of my finger now, where are you? There. You will see there's a fourth one. So, already there's four new growths going to come up for next year, which is... Um, going to be nice and this one no activity on this one yet apart from ferns it's growing ferns because that's what kids do down there and we just pick them off and throw them away but um, this one is George Colthup Sarcochylus Melba crossed with Hartmannii Melba to me makes it sound as if it's peachy and crossed with Hartmannii, that should be quite interesting. No new stuff yet, but it's fine this time. So two interesting ones there. Now from the person who doesn't need any more Mazda Valleyers because she's got enough. Well, I just don't need any, but, but, and there's always a but. I found this coccinia. And it's a red coccinia with a lovely yellow throat. And it's an award. Oh, look, and I didn't notice that either. We have a flower spike. It's Mazdavalia coccinia sandbars Carmen Beauty. And it's an awarded plant, award of merit at the American Orchid Society. It is the most stunning. Oh, look, 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 there's two flower spikes. Oh, wow, well, I didn't even notice that yesterday. There's new growths, a um, couple of, I broke one off yesterday, one of the leaves off yesterday because it was going manky. Um, but it is such a stunning plant and there's one, two, there's three so far new leaves. And yeah, the snail's got at it, but um, for a plant that size, mine is down to about four, um, leaves 
and I wasn't even ever expecting to find one. And when I saw them, I thought, mm, yep, one's coming home with me. So um, that is coming home, and it did. This one is a fowl-type fowl um, dendrobium. And it's Dendrobium Sanook Blue Happiness. And the colour of the flowers is the most gorgeous colour. It, it's very similar to the colour of uh, Victoria Regina. And we found, Roger found actually, one in flower. But flowers would have nearly been over. And this one, it was five pound more expensive and I didn't want to pay that much for one of those. But I found this one and it's got two new growths on. Um, that's a short stem, that's a normal size stem, both of which have um, flowered. But I've got growth there and there's another one coming up there. So I can just grow that on for next year, which suited me better. So I bought that one because I loved the colour. Um, and I had room in the warm greenhouse to do it. Now, this one... This one is Moscatum. Creamy yellow flowers with a slight pink blush and it's got a burgundy disc on the lip. Nothing to write home about really. We've got, well, four canes. One really good cane that is just about finished growing. But again, we should have flowers next year, so um, that will be another one to look out for. Not that I needed one, but I like the colour and I'd looked at it before and never seen it. So when I saw it, I bought it. Now, this was the one that Roger told you about. I don't do oncidiums, and I always say that, but I don't. Oncidiums or cattleyas, they are scale magnets. And... While we were looking round the room where nobody's allowed to go, I found several plants I wanted to bring home. But we didn't expect it and she was doing something else. And then he called me and there were two, two or three of them, but only one with a flower spike. So it wasn't, well, was it expensive? I don't know, but I can't say the name. Let's see if that... There, I need to do some work on that. And that's def Rogers had a different name at the front of his, so we need to see which is the right one. But that looks like G N I E S B R E G H T I A N U M apostrophe, not apostrophe, but in quotes, N. So and it's a miniature. Now, miniature oncidiums with very pretty flowers, I can do. So we'll see if we can keep that happy. Um, and that was it. That was it. I bought some pots, I bought some charcoal, but we had a lovely day and it was just, even coming home, we didn't get stuck in traffic. Um, didn't stop on the way home, but then he dropped me off at my car and I then had 45 minutes before I got home, which would have been peak time rush hour. And I thought I was going to get stuck in traffic, but I was home within under an hour. So um, absolutely cream crackered, mind you, but um, say la vie. It was a gorgeous day. We've not got the sun today, so that's good because the foggers aren't competing in the greenhouse and the fans be switched off temporarily so I've now got to get on the sorting and doing sorting out these plants so that I can get them listed because where I've been doing all the repotting what I should have done when I did the repotting was do the listing at the same time but that's far too easy far too easy and organized and I don't do organized since I haven't been at work I don't do it at all so it's um been a strange day. Second vaccination done today, so that's it. I'm done as well. Um, all over, all done with. 
and move forward is what we need to do now when everybody gets themselves sorted and then they'll get onto the children I suspect but uh, we're moving in the right direction I like the way we're moving and it can only be a positive thing provided people start doing sensible things you've always got people out there doing stupid things but we can avoid them and the nursery was quite busy yesterday as well there was always somebody there I have Roger and I were there the longest because we spent the entire three hours or whatever it was and the place where we stopped for breakfast they've put up um, the awning things that like they're marquees but they're not they put these things with a wrap around so that you can either have them as just a rain cover or they put a side in to keep the wind out and they put tables and chairs in under cover as well so um, and they extended it so that it was in their private garden as well as in the yard outside where the cafe was so and it was sitting in their garden it was gorgeous you could just hear the birds and the cockerel and it was ma magical because we don't get well I don't want to listen to cockerels to be fair but um, it was lovely and it was really nice to see Roger it was really nice to be able to talk all kids and see all kids and have the same interest in things and find what we want oh, I must I must show you and this is for him more than anything else because he couldn't remember when I found him that Mohilianum um, he couldn't remember what it looked like and mine is in flower so the one I'd said to Roger you want one of these um, is this and mine is a baby one mine's still growing his was a couple of mature canes so but you see I love the cluster blooms and this is the most it's had on it since I bought it two years ago and there's more still to come we've had the odd one or two the past year or two so it's mostly flowering on um, it's got another one there as well there's two more there and another one under there so it's lovely Roger you will like it and you will love that color where are you there you are look at that how can you not love that how can you not love that so yeah that's what I put in his hand and told him he needed and I think I did the right thing personally so on that note I'm going to go indoors to have coffee I've had to go to cash and carry and I'm about finished now I need to go and sit down with my coffee and chill because it's been a bit of a busy day with not having achieved anything yesterday well I say not having achieved anything I achieved spending some money so you know all good and it's nice to see friends that you haven't seen for well the last time Roger and I met was the end of August last year so we've only met on Zoom since then and yeah so that's that's six more than six months that's seven months um, and we've had a couple of phone calls that lasted quite a long time but when you see people and you're used to seeing them and you've all got the same interests it's just nice to be with those people and I don't bore my husband to tears then I don't think I bore him but sometimes I think I do but there you go that's life as they say what do they expect but I will love you and leave you and um, then I can put these in the places that they're meant to be and I'll see you on the next one stay safe bye bye now